What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to increase your PlayStation 5's internet speed. So it's going to be actually a quick tutorial, and I'm going to just straight up jump right into this. So the first thing is you're going to go into settings, and you're going, going to into networks. In here, you're going to actually go into settings again, and click into set up internet connection. So there's a, a few things we're going to kind of tweak around and play with, and kind of show you what needs to be done. So the first thing is, if you are connected to a wireless network, if all possible, change it to wired. It will be exponentially faster, especially with what we're about to do. Um, if you cannot, for whatever reason, connect to that, uh, what I'd recommend you to do is click into the options button in the controller and change the Wi-Fi frequency band to five gigahertz. Uh, you can keep it as automatic or you can just change it to five gigahertz, which would theoretically increase the speed. The next thing is, because the five gigahertz obviously has more uh, what's it called, usage and whatnot, so it kind of pushes the speed more for you, so it's always better, I don't know if you've ever seen on your phone, there's always the 2.4 and the 5, the 5 is faster, let's keep it as simple as that, <laughs> um, once that, you're done with that, click into advanced settings, and there's a few things you can do over here, the first thing is the DNS, and that's the one we're going to focus on. So you can change your primary DNS to a couple of things. You can either change it to what I have here, or you can do basically 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. This is Google's preferred one, and you can change it to 8.8.4.4. So again, you can either change it to this. There's also the Cloudflare server, which is, I believe, 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1 .1 or in the secondary is 1.0.0.1. .1. So you can try those two as well and kind of see which one obviously works faster for you. So you can kind of save this, save this is going to say it's connecting to the access point and you're gonna see like it's going to connect, it's going to give it the speed and it's essentially going to go from there. See, th there's different DNS servers out there that basically help you kind of get like the sense of like your speed and whatnot. So let's just do test internet connection. We're gonna kind of go from there and we're gonna see like where the speed currently stands. So. The DNS server is almost always the best thing you can do. It's going to basically exponentially increase your speed. It's going to make a lot of your errors that you're possibly having with the server go away. And it, it kind of, again, it just enhances the speed and it just kind of makes it a lot more better per se. But I almost always say and push for wired connection rather than wireless. It's almost always the better route to do. So right now I'm with wireless and you can see uh, at my download speed is about 217, which is pretty damn good. And my upload is, I don't know, I feel like uploads usually not that crazy high with wireless, but let's just see whatever it stands at. But if I theoretically had wired connected, I would have been almost at four to 500 download and about probably about like 50 to 100 on upload because the upload gets exponentially faster as well with the wired uh, essentially connection. So yeah, so let's see. So yeah, 15.5, that's pretty good. For upload, that's pretty good right now with a wire wireless connection. So yeah, so there's different DNS servers. The only thing that kind of varies is where you're currently sitting in, what country you are in. So if you're in the US, what I used or one I stated are pretty good. If you're like in Europe or whatnot, there's different DNS servers. I'd recommend you to kind of test those out. I can leave a link in the description below with the best DNS servers for your location. You can easily find them in Google as well. So yeah, that's all you got to do to basically uh, get your updated DNS connections. So yeah. Um, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, more